two of the finest. Here old Dwayne Bobbitt, very confident as a result of eight straight knockout victories. Very much at home here in Indianapolis, Indiana. This is his fourth bout. First time. He's been brought along very fast. In a little over a year, he left Madison City, Arkansas, went to Knoxville, Tennessee, and represented the United States on the Olympic team where he was a bronze medalist. And like Bobbick, was stopped by Teofio Stevenson. The referee by the bell, except, of course, the end of the 10th round. The referee and the two judges do the scoring. The referee is uh, experienced and very good George DeFabus of Indianapolis. The judges are Joe Segru and Tom Catterson. All right, Dwayne Bobbick in the red trunks on the left uh, is 6'3". His opponent, 24 years old, is 6'4", and weighs 22 pounds more. Now, he's an upright fighter, John Tate. He likes to throw punches with both hands. Bobbick, as you saw in our up-close and personal, is vulnerable to a hard right hand, especially preceded by a left hook to the body. So this is what he, I hope, has learned in order to stay long with young John Tate. This is round one if you just joined us. And Tate is really opening up, and Bobbick has felt the punches already. Bobbick, who does cut. He's getting hit much too often here early in the first round. Dwayne Bobbick is a very slow starter, and this has been a problem. He has a, he has a total of 16 second-round knockouts. He's in trouble right now. He may go down. This is the first round. Tate is landing everything. Shades of Kenny Norton. Remember, Norton did it in 58 seconds, and now Tate is trying to get through the heavy punch. He also could be wearing himself out, but Bobbick is catching the ball now. And down on one knee, and George DeFabus, the referee. Here's a manda mandatory eight count. Here in this round, we have about a minute and a half, and Bobbick now legitimately goes down. Bobbick in severe trouble. And unfortunately, look at the time left. A little less than a minute and 20. He looks to his corner what to do. They can't help. It's up to the 28-year-old heavyweight hopeful. And Tate is unloading with everything. Out of range right now, but getting in close. Bobbick's fight plan is not being followed. He was going to fall inside and body punch. But the great offense is the best defense. Now, we're less than a minute to go in round one. Bobby has been down once already and catching the punches. Oh, George DeFabus. Perhaps George DeFabus. George DeFabus, the referee. And as we look at the rubbery, spaghetti-like legs of Dwayne Bobby, we think he made a wise decision. At first, oh no, look at Bobby. Dwayne Bobby, what a pity. This is a heavyweight that has scored himself 42 knockouts. Now he's been knocked out three times in 51 fights at around the two minute and 16 second mark of round one. Knocked down twice, the referee George DeFabus steps in and ends it. And John Tate, the 24 year old and his handlers Don Marshall and Judge Hill and his manager Ace Miller, all the folks from Knoxville, Tennessee are beside themselves. Let's go back and, in slow motion, look at the punishment by the 24-year-old. A right-hand lead, another right-hand lead. And that always indicates that an opponent is in trouble. Four successive right-hand leads, unheard of in boxing. But we told you Tate was confident. So George DeFabus, George DeFabus didn't step in any too early, believe me. Well, we did a Sonny Liston, Floyd Patterson fight at Comiskey Park that ended in a similar fashion. And now here we have another. This, of course, a non-title bout, but it was pivotal for these two. Tate with the overhand rights, and it was Ken Norton who did the very same thing to Bobbick as did Kanozzi of South Africa, his only two losses. And what a win for John Tate. And as we indicated earlier, he hasn't had the fortune of going to school, so consequently cannot read or write he is likable, and when we get a chance to talk to him, you'll see a smile that closely resembles that of Muhammad Ali, almost 